a block of mass 12.2 kilograms is sliding at an initial velocity of 4.9 meters per second in the positive x direction. The surface has a coefficient of kinetic friction of 2.213. What is the force of kinetic friction in newtons acting on the block? What is the block acceleration in meters per second and how far will it slide before coming to rest? So the first thing we can do is find the acceleration. I wrote all our values right here. So what I always do first is write the Newton's second law, which indicates that the sum, since we're moving in a x direction, it's going to be x force, and the sum of force in the x direction is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. And we're trying to find acceleration. So the sum of fx is going to be equal to the frictional force, kinetic force, because that's the only force acting on the car or the block. And this is a negative because it's going to go opposite the direction of the block. And the force of kinetic friction is also equal to frictional coefficient times the normal force. So how do we find the normal force? Well, the normal force is found by taking the sum of the force in the y direction, which is equal to the mass times acceleration in the y direction. And it's also equal to n minus mg. So since there's no acceleration in the y direction because it's moving in the x direction, this actually equals 0. So that means this is 0 and n is equal to mg. Now we can take mg mass, or mass times gravity and plug that back in for this n value and we get a new equation of Kinetic force is equal to coefficient friction times mg. And we have all the values for that. So we can type that in negative fk is equal to 0.213. times 12.2 times 9.8 and that gives us a value of 25 negative 25.5 Now we need to find the block's acceleration. So we know the force here is going to be negative. I don't need to rewrite that. This is equal to this, which is equal to m a acceleration in the x direction. So we just have to divide by mass. This divided by 12.2 gives acceleration of negative 2.09 meters per second squared. It's negative. And now how far will it slide before coming to rest? Coming to rest is the indication that means that VF or the final velocity is going to be zero. And we know our initial velocity is 4.9 meters per second. So VF is equal to zero meters per second. 
and we know our acceleration is negative 2.09 meters per second squared. We don't need time and we're solving for delta x or the change in displacement, how far it will, it will slide. So we can use the equation v f squared minus v zero squared is equal to two times the acceleration times delta x. And we have to solve for delta x, so this is zero. Plug in our values and we get 4.9 squared divided by 2 divided by negative 2.09 for acceleration gives us delta x. And that ends up giving us a value of 5.74 meters. There you go. Hope this helps.